Hey everybody, Confound it here, and I am coming at you with the continuation of making a montage, which is going to be wrapping up our Arcsoft Showbiz series. Uh, what we're looking at here is the theater mode of Black Ops 2. Now, the reason why I like to use theater mode is because it's what the game actually sees. You don't have to worry about anything with lag compensation or anything else like that, because in my mind, you know, a montage, it's supposed to be your best gameplay. It's supposed to be the best parts of the game to you. So, you know, why use people getting all herky-jerky all over the map and everything else? And that is a technical term, by the way, herky-jerky. Okay, but seriously, though, herky-jerky is not a technical term, but if you ever say it to me, I'll know exactly what you're talking about. Anyway, so I want you to look right here. I know in the last updated PVR2 settings tutorial that I did, I said that 9, nine megabytes was the key here, and you uh, get there from, I believe it's format settings? Yep, format settings right here in your video encoder. But I follow Hapog on Facebook, and uh, I don't remember where I saw it. I looked for it for a few minutes before I started recording this, and I couldn't find it. And they said that uh, somebody was complaining about using 14 megabytes and blah, blah, blah. And they said, well, try 10. So what I'm saying now is, you know, play with it for a little bit. You know, completely tax, tax it. Uh, make like 20 40 cuts in the multiple trim then lay on the transitions and see where the crashing point is and find your system sweet spot because for me it was nine megabytes but I'm going to test their 10 megabyte right now because before I started recording I tried it at 14 and I think I did like 27 cuts and then I started piling on transitions and then it started to bog down on me so yeah that's where we're at now just to recap before we jump into this I've got um the how do I montage has been opened up over here I have the folder opened up this one right here where my captures are going to be going to that way as soon as you know I'm done capturing I could just dra drag it right on over here and you know just quick you know workflow you want to start you're going to develop your own workflow and once you've got about five or six five or six of these awesome creations under your belt you know you're going to be able to whip right through them and it's just going to be magnifique every way through so now that we've gotten that out of the way what I like to do is make multiple recordings I make one recording that is completely all the way through as the game plays and that's my base recording that's the one that I do um, my cutscenes and everything else from and then after that one if you have the option in whatever game you're recording I like to go back and use free camera or either your third person view and get uh, what I'll call cinematic shots you know wide angle shots of me duking it out with somebody else or you know a side angle shot of that sweet three piece that you just picked up you know what I'm saying and then you can also go you know pan out and get aerial shots of uh, load stars coming in or hailstorm missiles or whatever else you and you know use that for filler in your montage and it just it, it makes for all kinds of epicness so I'm not going to make y'all watch me record the whole 10 minute gameplay that's just going to waste your time and everything else I mean this is pretty simple cut and dry I'm just going to press start on it let it record and then um as soon as that's done I'll be back with y'all and I will show y'all what, a little bit of what I do in my second recording because I want to show y'all how to capture still frames as well because when we're putting our montage together I want to show you how you can uh, use the still images to layer on effects stretch things out a little bit and uh, kind of uh, making a, a faux effect isn't really the right wordage to use but you'll see what I'm talking about when we get there so hang tight and I'll be back with you in just a couple of minutes all right, so I've got the first part of the video, or the complete video, completely recorded, and I'm just dragging it over here. Now, here's where you have a choice, and I want to go ahead and um, get this out of the way before I start to record the, the second scenes. All right, you can either get one whole long, big, huge recording of all the different scenes and, you know, your generalized effects that you want to all in one file, and the advantages of that is you have one file the disadvantages of that is you have one file and with this software you know you, you're you're most likely going to get a little frustrated with it trying to get it to the exact part and then you know you make your cut and then you realize well that's not the one I wanted so what I like to do is the second option and that is you go through watch find where you want to back up record that one scene and then you move forward with your recording now 
I like to switch it up just a little bit though. Let's say if I want to get three or four different shots of the same scene, three or four different angles, so I can, you know, make um, a mesh of all three of those scenes, like, you know, wide angle, over top, uh, from the distance, third person, yada, 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 whatever it may be. So if that's the case, what I'll do is I'll do that whole thing in one take or one cut or one scene, and then I'll move further on down. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to move forward through the gameplay and uh, queue up a scene that I want to um, capture. That way I'm not wasting your time while you're watching me watch the video. So I'll be back with you in just a second. All right, so here's a scene that I'm going to want to get a couple, get a couple of different angles on. So uh, let me turn the volume down on this. And I've also made this full screen so it's a little bit easier for you to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and press capture on that wait for it to go green and then I'm gonna start the film all right on that first take I actually didn't get it right so I'm gonna go ahead and get that out of there so I don't get any confusion later on so now we're gonna start it up again and then that way I can make sure I'm getting everything that I want because what I really want to do is get the grenade toss that's going to set off an explosion and what I want to do is get a few different angles of that explosion that's the grenade toss that I want that's the kill that I want alright I'm just going to pause the game right there go back switch to third person view or actually this is free camera and then I'm gonna follow myself over there oh I missed it missed it again because I want to follow that grenade catch this guy come in. Let me back up again because it's going to take some practice, a little bit of getting used to to get this exactly how you want it. But with that little bit of practice you'll soon get it and you'll be making epic masterpieces in no time. go back too far. Nope, there I am. There we go. Got it. Alright, got that one. I'm just going to stop it there. Wait for it to stop because then it releases the file. And I can go ahead and drag that into my uh, my bin there. All right, so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to get multiple takes of the same shot. Go ahead and start up the capture. It's a pretty nice grenade toss. Sure do love the grenade tosses, Donna. Just switch to third person view so I can get in here. All right. I'll pause again. I have to look at my TV beside me. I know there's a delay. Up. All right. 
All right, now what I want to do here is get a still image of me, that's me right there, um, being looked at down the scope. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come right over here, click on Capture Frame. Let me minimize that so you can see that I have the capture there. Now it captures it a bitmap, but that's okay. And that's pretty much it for the uh, recording for right now. The next one is going to be editing, so I'm going to go ahead and get this up, and then I'm going to get to work on the editing portion of it. And then after I've completed all five steps with the final edits, I'm going to come back and do a, another one on Black Ops Theater Mode or Black Ops 2's Theater Mode all by itself because there's a few features in there that'll uh, really be able to help you out if you're using Black Ops 2. I don't want it. I didn't want to put it in the general videos just because not all game types are going to have it and not everybody with a PBR2 is recording Black Ops 2. So yeah, I'll talk to you in just a couple minutes. Thanks for watching.